Well, I've got one of these uh, general transmission gearboxes here from uh, self-propelled uh, push mower and thought I would try to dissect it. I took seven Torx head screws, but uh, to my surprise, it's got uh, hypoid gear oil in it. You know, the nasty sulfur-based smelling stuff. So the way this thing works, um, it's got, it's a worm gear set there. You can see the the worm and the wheel. And so this would be when you're pushing the lawnmower. And then, well, you see this, uh, it's like a, a clutch there. You rotate it the other way, it grabs, and then starts to, see it's rotating the box up, or trying to turn the axle, basically. I don't want to rotate it too far that way, or the gear oil will start coming out. Anyway, you can see, so that's drive. Then when you overrun it, in effect, push the lawnmower or shut it off, you're pushing, then it just free wheels like that so that's why they this thing did not want to come apart because they got this I don't know what it is it's not silicone seal some type of uh, hypoid gear oil proof sealer on it to uh, keep the uh, oil in the gearbox because uh, the worm gear you don't want to run it dry they generate they're pretty inefficient gear they generate a lot of heat however they're uh, efficient from a gear perspective because um, you know it takes one turn of this for each tooth of this so this could be like well I'm gonna throw a number out there 35 to 1 reduction you, you can't obtain that with any other type of gear with just uh, two gears but friction wise they uh, they generate a lot of friction or heat so anyway so that's uh, that's what's inside of the uh, transmission on a uh, uh, riding lawn or push mower like uh, like this one over here. See, craftsman gear drive, what have you? That's basically the same as what it came off of. So the cable on it uh, rotates the whole. It just rocks the whole assembly and causes this to tighten up on the belt. So, my objective when I started this was to see how hard it would be to uh, make a larger pulley because I my lawnmower is going too quickly. I want to slow it down. So, can't tangle with anything inside the gearbox. So, I'll have to uh, maybe uh, get a larger pulley on it here so that it'll turn slower then that'll probably result in a, a longer V-belt but nothing's ever easy right anyway that's the the magic that happens inside of these uh, little uh, transmissions here so I took the time to count the teeth on it and the worm here has uh, four starts so four teeth and the wheel has 28 so that results in a 7 to 1 uh, gear reduction. So this shaft turns the seventh as fast as the input shaft does. And it doesn't really hold all that much um, hypoid gear oil there. Um, just a, I don't know, 20 cc's, or I don't know what that'd be. But it's got a, looks like a ball bearing on the input shaft. But then on uh, the other end, it just rides in the plastic housing. And it's obviously got some type of bearing and seal on this shaft, but I'm not going to take those apart to uh, look at them. Here you got your, this is all made of plastic. This one-way clutch assembly here. Now I'll re-engage it with the worm wheel there. All in all, it's kind of a cool setup. How it works here. Yeah. But it pulls your lawnmower around the yard. <laughs>